All right, so for this, what you're going to be doing is you need to complete a full outline for your paper, and this is a 10 summative point assignment out of the 45, so it's roughly a quarter of the grade is doing the outline. Um, and you're going to need several things for this. You'll need to include your thesis statement, um, and the questions I gave hopefully will kind of guide us through this. We've kind of talked through what the arguments are a little bit. Um, and then each part of your argument, what are you going to be discussing in your paper? What arguments are you going to use to prove your thesis? And then you're going to lay out the quotations that you have gathered, right? Uh, and the quotations need to be from the book that I gave you, right? So the page numbers need to match up with the text. If the page numbers are off, I'm not going to grade it, and I'm going to give it back to you till you find the right page numbers. Okay, you need to do the work. Um, and then, so I gave an example here of what this is going to look like at the bottom. We'll take a look at that, but let me talk through these three topics for me real quick. Uh, if you're writing the CARS essay... Um, go back through your notes or the daily questions. So we had nine sets of, of questions and evidence gathering. I would take a look at those um, and find the times where cars play an important role. What point is the author making about wealthy people by having cars play in such an important role in the text? Each car incident is going to be a separate part of your argument, right? So if you look down on the page, I put six different parts of this argument. This is an example that I gave from Eyes Are Watching God. Six different arguments and then quotations. For this one, the cars one, each time one of the car incidents show up, that would be a part of your argument, right? So that's roughly six or seven parts, depending on how you break up the incidents. Each car incident will be a separate argument and multiple paragraphs in your essay. Under each incident, copy and paste or type all the evidence available to you. Be sure to include the incident where the characters state what you'll be proving. If you're going to write that paper, you're going to start with the one where Jordan and Nick talk about being a careless driver, right? And then show the car accidents and how they demonstrate that. If you're writing the gender roles essay, you're determining if Daisy's statement, and I hope she'll be a fool, that's the best thing a girl can be in this world, a beautiful little fool, is accurate or not. There are three female characters in the text, Daisy, Jordan, and Myrtle. Each character will be a separate argument in multiple paragraphs. So for that one, you've got three parts to your argument. Each of the characters is its own part, but you're going to have multiple paragraphs for each one of those. Um, determine which character is most foolish, which is the kind of moderately foolish and one is the least foolish and then what makes them that way and what ends up happening to them right so if daisy's statement was correct the most foolish character would end up in the best spot right whereas the wisest or smartest character would end up in the worst position so you'll be determining whether that's accurate copy and paste uh under each incident copy and paste or type all the evidence available to you you could also write about the american dream or dreams generally and for American Dream, <clears throat> um, each character will be a part of your argument and multiple paragraphs. And you will show several things in your outline and essay. You're going to show success of each character, right? So for this one, you're going to be writing about Nick, Wilson, and Gatsby specifically. You could bring in Myrtle if you wanted to. And you're going to show each character separately how they tried to be, <coughs> excuse me, how they tried to be successful. <coughs> so for Wilson, you would show how uh, the descriptions of his garage being very badly run and not being successful to show that he's trying to do this the right way and failing and then show what ends up happening to them and after going through each character that way authors proving a point about the american dream by having three or four different characters try to achieve it and fail so what point are they making you could also write about dreams generally so you could write about dreams being about love and instead of making money show the dream involving love for each of the characters gatsby myrtle wilson and daisy how big a dream is it for them to be with the person they would like to be with, right? So for Daisy to be with Gatsby, that's a pretty small dream. She could accomplish that if she wanted to, right? Gatsby wanting to be with Daisy is a bigger one. Discuss each character separately and make your argument about discussing how big or small their dreams of love are. Uh, are these dreams easy to achieve or more difficult? Taking these stories together, what point is the author making about dreams? Now, I gave you an example here that I want your outline to look like. The example here I gave you would be a 10 out of 10. If you include less, it would be less than 10 out of 10. So I go through what each argument is and then a sentence or so explaining what point I'm going to be making or why that's important. So for instance, if this is writing the thesis in Eyes of Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston, the author uses mules to describe women, specifically Janie. Argument one, Nanny defines what mules will mean symbolically in the text. This is important because it sets up what this will mean throughout the rest of the book. Anytime mules are brought up, the reader is supposed to think about Janie. And then I have two quotations here. Each of those quotations would be its own paragraph. Then I would move on to the next part. Logan wants to buy a second mule so Janie can plow in the fields, and then I got my evidence here. The page numbers are all match up with the page numbers of the book that I gave you, and you've got to make sure yours do as well. 
And then I go through argument three and the quotations, argument four and the quotations, argument five and six. So right now I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That would be a minimum of 11 paragraphs to discuss, right? Which is plenty to get you to a thousand words. So this is a 10 point assignment. I want to make sure you're putting in thought on this and that this is a useful thing for you to do. I'm trying to avoid this just being a busy work assignment to force you to do work. I'm hopeful that this is a useful way to do it. And I do think laying out your outlines and things will help you with that. So if you have any questions, please let me know.